You and say. is it a yes for you for him? I'm gonna say no. Uh What's good, y'all? Make sure y'all watch this whole video. Shout out to Arlette, man. So this guy right here, he missed his match. Let's get into the video. Uh, I'm really tight with both my parents. Mm -hmm. um, very blessed to still have them in my life. They're divorced, but you know, that's life. Yeah. Uh, my father, he's uh, East African, so you know, just being there for him, you know, we're tight now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with my mom, that's also like what, uh, what bro says. I love my mom daily. Uh, yeah. Stop saying what bro said. Like, who cares what bro said? Take care of her, make sure she's good. She was actually rooting for me, praying, like sending prayers and wishes, hoping that I find a match. So, oh, I pray my baby find love on Pop the Balloon Show. Oh, my God. Hopefully, yeah. you can meet her one day. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I love like the fortness. See how you slid that in? Hopefully, you can meet her one day. Yeah, he was going for this one hard. No cap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you feel like you're healed from any past relationships? Yes, I had um, a not so great breakup like a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I did. I had a lot of alone time, a lot of healing time, spent a lot of time like with myself, just relearning myself and cap. And yeah, I feel really good coming out from that and so like i don't really have any hurt from that i i learned about the things that i want in a partner the things that hmm. i need and the things that are going to make me and whoever else successful so yeah. okay yeah. um are you a woman of god my woman of god i would say yes okay. i'm very spiritual but i don't like necessarily subscribe to christianity so she is not a woman of God, bro. <laughs> so to speak, I don't, and I'm not the person that shows up at church every weekend either. So I would say that's it for me. Yeah. Would you be? He knew she was capped. That's why that brother um popped the balloon. Be open to it. Going to church? Yeah. I'm not saying like every Sunday, because even like right now, I don't have a home church. But, yeah, yeah. you know, like I, when I'm looking for, I'm intentional, I'm looking for a wife. You know yeah. what I mean? So like yeah. I know I, I do want to build my family foundation mm -hmm. on, you know, what I believe as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm, I'm a Christian. Okay. Yeah. No, I would be open to it. I've gone to church plenty of times before. Mm -hmm. I'm just not consistent in it. Mm -hmm. um, but I would be open to going for sure. Me and the same boy, I'm not consistent either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was going to be a perfect match after that, but no cap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I agree. All right. Mm -hmm. So we did get a pop back here. Okay. Why did we end up popping? uh i'm a spiritual person mm. um i've learned throughout a bunch of experiences in life that uh god is the leader of my life mm -hmm. right and so uh i don't we already know bro you didn't pick her because she's not a woman of god so mayor come on up here with us let's all walk back over here <laughs> all right any final questions between the two of you to determine if this is a match uh are you when he pushed them glasses up that's what got her she was like yeah nah so i'll walk back over here yeah, like, <laughs> all right any final questions between the two of you to determine if this is a match uh are you comfortable with dating a musician specifically rap mm, that's a good positive question. though my music positive is just, yeah <laughs> nah my, my like I, I talk mental health love faith in my music Oh, okay. I like that. I like right. that. Um, yeah, I think I would be comfortable comfortable with that. I think a lot of times it just depends on the message. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the message predicts the type of people that you're around, too. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I think, like you said, I would be comfortable with that specific genre. For sure. Okay. And you cool with the distance? I'm in New York. But I do travel to Texas pretty often. You know, I have so much family in New York. You know, are you good with the distance? Because, you know... I travel to Texas often, you know. I kick my Christian rap out there and everything. You feel me? My family's from oh, the Bronx. Okay. Um, Wait, what part? And I have, uh, that's a great question. 
I don't know. Decatur? Okay. Yeah, I'm not from I'm not from the Bronx. I'm cool. removed from them. I but, can ask you on that date. Uh oh. <laughs> this guy's confident, right? <laughs> he thinks he's getting the scrap. Um, but but yeah, so I'm I'm not a distance is not a big thing and I probably need to go to New York to be honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More than I Hopefully I could be another reason. Okay. That you come. I feel like that boy throwing a lot of shots. Hey, hopefully you could be there. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you could be over there with me. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I just slurred a little bit, but yeah, y'all get the drift. Y'all see what y'all see what he doing. They match kind of anyway. You know with the orange? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> any questions, Jordan? Are you good? Do you have any questions? You don't have one. Don't I had a, I'm like I had a whole host of questions. <laughs> I forgot all of them. Um, just not for him. You ain't got a lot, shout out. Um, no, I'm gonna say it. we're good okay. for now. Yeah. All right, so then. Uh oh, uh oh. He think he got her. He think he got her. Look at him. Is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now watch what she and says. Is it a yes for you for him? I'm gonna say no. Oh. I'm gonna say no. We <laughs> are let. Oh no! I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Look at his brother right here. He tried to throw him the alley hoop too. He was like, yeah, man, you ain't a woman of God, you feel me? So I'm going to let bro go on here and have you, you feel me? I'm going to say no. <laughs> Pop is on balloon. <laughs> um, and that's just because I feel like the attraction for me isn't okay. there, and I would want him to have a person who wants to be all over him. Mm. But I do think we have a lot of similarities. Yeah. So You see what she said? She want him to find somebody that, that likes him, you feel me? Now we finna go to the girl that liked him. Over here, your name and age? Amir, 35. And Amir, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, you are very attractive, but I don't know. I he just said it. You're very attractive. I just, I didn't feel like that desire. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't feel like. So he didn't feel that desire. You feel me? And that's basically what the last girl told him. Like, yeah, I don't feel the desire. You know what I'm saying? You see how you see how the tables turn? Like, this the lady that your mama was praying for you for, bro. Like, I wanted to keep holding on to my balloon. I was very indifferent about it. So, respectfully, though. Okay. Respectfully, though. Respectfully, you ain't respect your mama's wishes, man. I love your locks. Thank you. And he loved the locks. <laughs> you can't make it up, man. You cannot make it up. You gotta hold his L, man. Your mama did all that praying for you to come out here and play. Doesn't make any sense, brother. <laughs> now, is he someone that's your type? I would say yes. And what makes him your type? Um, I would say the height. Um, I like the way he's dressed and hair, his hair, Thank his you. hair, head hair. Thank you. You see what I mean? You missed your blessing, man. Both had locks. Clearly, clearly she was the one that your mom was talking about. You know damn well that red bone girl was not gonna go for that shit. But hey, man, you live and you learn. Y'all hit the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about this shit, though. Am I right? Did he miss his blessing or what? Let me know in the comments, man. 